morning, good morning. It is uh, 235, 230 a.m. It's Monday morning. I'm on my way to the gym right now. I heard something this morning and it said that faith, faith and waiting are synonymous. And it got me to thinking about something. It got me to thinking about how on two different spectrums, your faith can be challenged when things aren't going right. On one spectrum, you say, God, I'm coming to church. I'm tithing. I'm in my scripture. I'm reading my word. I'm working on being the best person that I possibly can be. Why does it seem like you're prospering everybody else around me? They don't nearly love you as much as I do. But yet they're prospering. And then on the other spectrum, we could say, it's just not our time. It's it's just not our time. We're We're not ready for it. And God is trying to make sure we're ready for it. And that's why things aren't happening. That's why it keeps seeming like we're being challenged. Because we're not we're not ready ready for it, but then there's a passage where it says, uh, uh, it says, "Do not grow faint. Do, do not grow weak and faint. Faint not. For in due season. And when you get into those those ways of thinking, it has the propensity to create confusion." And it makes the fight, or it makes the, 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 the enduring during hard times even harder because now you don't know if it, I'm not ready or it's just injustice. I'm not ready or it's just injustice. And I believe strongly that the devil's number one His number one weapon is confusion. If he can get you thinking two different ways, three different ways, he's already gotten you away from what the truth is. And the truth of the matter is, is if there's anything inside of your heart, it will happen. See, I know for me, I have a vision of of going around the world, of seeing the world in its entirety. But it hasn't happened. There's another part of me that feels like financially I'll be set. The word says that a wise man leaves his children's children inheritance. And I'm not talking about my death, my life insurance. I feel these things. I know these things. And my faith tells me that these things will happen. When, where, how, doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Because the moment I start falling into the trap in the pit of thinking, either on one spectrum or on another spectrum, then I start creating space between what's gonna happen and that's not the way that we're supposed to do things faith is getting up moving in the direction of what's on your heart 
what you believe will be. Not in denial. It's showing that you can be trusted with these things. I'm not going to be given a whole lot of money if I'm showing that I, I'm, I'm incompetent with a little bit. Well, what about being trusted with being able to see the whole world when I can't even get outside my own door? It's not a matter of you're not ready. It's not a matter of other people are being blessed who don't love God as much as you. All it simply is a matter of is just wait. Every day, let your blessings find you working towards what you said you wanted. That's how, that's how I do things. Because I trust one that God's timing is perfect. Two is he's not going to give it to me before or after. It ain't going to be too late. It's going to be right when it should be. You know, there's a huge difference between eating a meal right after you've eaten a meal and then eating a meal when it's really time and it really fulfills you. Huge difference. But when you try to reason out or make whatever God's plan for your life is make sense your 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 intellect will become founded every time so simply get up you know what's in your heart You know what's in your heart. So get up and pursue that. That way you make room for your gift. And when it finds you, when it's ready to present itself to you, it finds you doing what you said you would do. It finds you working. It finds you legitimately pursuing what God said you would have. Now, I've met people who said, oh, I'm going to get it. Yep, I'm going to get it. But they do nothing. Let your blessings find you working at the right time when they come, period.